if you're here to know what they don't tell you about breastfeeding, go ahead and skip to, I'll put it right here because I don't know how many minutes it's going to be, but go ahead and skip to these amount of minutes and you'll get right into the video. And if you're here to know an explanation of why I'm doing this type of video today, then just go ahead and keep watching and I'll explain everything. Bang it to myself for you the same way if you're different. Look me in my eyes, don't tell no lies to keep your distance. I got a lot to say, so just listen. They was you hold it down if you came to it. Put your life on the line for me, can't you do it? Just tell you tell the truth, but why you lie for me? You told me you're not. Guys, it's Nana and Sully. You say hi, you say hi. <laughs> So I know you guys are probably thinking that this is a prank video because Keita's not in the um, video with me. And usually if I'm by myself, that means prank. But our channel is kind of taking a little turn. A little turn. Not really a big turn. Just a little turn. So hear me out. Keyshawn works a lot. <laughs> so we want to be consistent with youtube and we want to get noticed but in order to do that we have to post a lot and with him not being home it's kind of hard for us to figure out um times to record i don't want this to just be a prank channel so i don't want to prank him every single day and then there's going to be no teams everyone's going to be team nana because there's going to be no pranks for team Keyshawn. team kia <laughs> So every so often, it's just going to be me and Solar throughout the week. And we are going to be doing videos, just talking to you guys, informing you. You know, I'm a first-time mom, so just coming from experience of a first-time mom. Just vlogging or little talks or whatever I can think of to do. Whatever you guys like to see, just comment down below and we'll do it. Um, this, again, is not going to change from a couple's channel. It is still a couple's channel we will still be uploading pranks and vlogs with all of us together but every so often in the week we will just do or i will just do videos of me and solar if that's okay with you guys if you guys are new to our channel hi how are you doing i'm nayana you can call me nana and this is solar solar man this is me and Kita's baby he is six months currently, six months and growing, and um, if you wanted to see the start from our journey, then you can just go back and watch some other videos of me being pregnant and me pranking Keyshawn, my water breaking, and all types of other things. Alright, so the reason you clicked on this video is to get the reasons on what they don't tell you about breastfeeding. So to get started... Are you sleepy? I think he's actually pretty tired. So the first topic that I'm going to talk about is bottles and pacifiers. So if you read on the internet, and I'm sure they tell you in the hospital as well, they tell you not to give a baby a bottle or pacifier for the first two weeks until they can get used to your nipple because it will confuse the baby. However, that might be true. I also don't want you to disregard the fact that they probably won't want any bottles or pacifiers at all if you're only giving them the nipple. Keep that in mind. My baby will not take a pacifier or any kind of bottle. There's so many different brands out there and I've tried about six different brands and he still just won't take it. If you want a break, if you want dad to feed the baby sometimes, you better use that pacifier and bottle to, as much as you can. I don't want you to confuse the baby and I don't want the baby to not want your nipple, but you also don't want the baby to only want your nipple. Like, that would drive you crazy. <laughs> and that brings me to my next topic, clinginess. Breastfed babies are clingy. When I say clingy, I mean clingy. Are you clingy? Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. He wants to be on me 24-7. We have dad here and he loves his dad too, but like to put him to sleep, sometimes he only wants me to put him to sleep and it becomes like a bombardment on me. Not to say my baby is a bombardment because he isn't at all, but um, it just becomes a lot, you know. You know, sometimes moms need breaks and Breastfed babies are very clean. Take that into consideration if you're thinking about breastfeeding. And my next topic I want to touch on is breaks. Now, I get breaks sometimes, but I'm going to be honest with you guys. 
I have solar 24 seven. When I mean 24 seven, I mean 24 seven. He is six months and I have never went no longer than two hours without him. And that was only twice that that happened. One time because I had an appointment that I had to go to that lasted over two hours. And then one other time when he was in, new, in the newborn stage, I didn't want to bring him to the grocery store. So my mom watched him while I grocery shopped. But besides that, no. He has never been with me. He's never spent the night anywhere. He's never, like, more than two hours. Nothing. Nothing at all. You never know when he's going to be hungry. You never know when baby is ready to feed. And that's another thing. Consistency. You don't know when your baby, your baby can literally, they say babies eat every two hours. Well, breastfed babies are every 10 minutes sometimes. And then sometimes they'll suck for 20 minutes. Sometimes they'll suck for three minutes. Sometimes they'll suck for seven. And sometimes they'll only take one boob and sometimes they'll want both boobs. Like it really, it's never consistent, never. So if you're trying to get your baby on a schedule, it's gonna be kind of hard with the breastfeeding. It's gonna be a little bit hard. I do want, I do want to say though, this isn't all bad. Like the bond, which is my next topic. The bond is amazing. It's immaculate. It's something you can't even describe with words. Like, I love this boy so much. Honestly, I think if I was to like bring him somewhere and let him go with someone else for a little while, I would miss him like very much because I'm so used to being around him 24 seven that I just don't know what I would do without him. Like, I love our bond. And then he gives me hugs. He gives me so many hugs and so many kisses and it's just amazing. Like I really, it's the best thing ever. I don't want to say that it's horrible. I don't want to say breastfeeding is horrible and you shouldn't do it. And I, I love it. I love it, but I hate it. It's a love-hate relationship, okay? It's a love-hate relationship. So I do want to also touch topic on the benefits. Now, most moms say, oh, my baby's so advanced. My baby can do this before everyone else's baby can and all of this and that. Well, I'm going to be honest with you. It's true. <laughs> it is so true. I don't know because, you know, you guys say the pandemic babies. I don't know if it's the pandemic babies that are extra smart or if it's the breastfed babies that are extra smart. But either way it goes, these babies are mind-blowing they're doing things that they normally wouldn't do back in the day like your breast milk is so nutritious it's unmatched to normal regular baby food it also boosts the baby's immune system it fights off illnesses like no other it's very easy to digest like um babies throw up a lot from formula and i want to say that solar has never really thrown up like i've always came across the pictures and stuff of baby throw up just everywhere and it's like crazy and diapers blowouts and all types of stuff i don't solar's never had a blowout and solar has never threw up crazy amount of throw up and there are lots of benefits to mom you guys think that breastfeeding is just for the baby no it benefits you too it reduces your chance of getting breast cancer. I'm not telling you that you absolutely would not get breast cancer if you breastfeed, but it does reduce your chance of getting that. It also helps you burn calories a lot faster than you would working out. So you'll probably lose your weight really fast if you're breastfeeding, but you also have to intake more calories because baby is taking all of your calories. So keep that in mind. Okay, and for my next topic, I'm gonna touch base on your supply. So if you are a pumping mom, if you're breastfeeding but you're also pumping, I want you to know what you get out of your breast pump does not equal the same amount as what your baby is getting. Why are you yelling? Baby. Whoa, dude. Baby knows how to get milk out way better than a breast pump knows how to get milk out. So you can't eat your life. <laughs> I might not even be able to finish this video because he's yelling so much. Let me see. Let me see. I think it's this giraffe that's making him crazy. Let me see. 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 
Oh. Oh no. Let's try this one. I hope I said what I had to say. I don't know. I was kind of interrupted by a baby. Oh, when should I start building my supply? I don't want to start it too early. I think your six weeks is the best time. That is your perfect timing to start your supply. I introduced table food to Solar when he was five months. The doctor said it was okay. I was going to wait until six months, but the doctor said that he's pretty advanced and he was doing a lot of good things. So I could start introducing it also to give mom a little break, which is me. I would start doing vegetables before I do fruits just because, you know, us, we don't really like vegetables, but um, baby will love vegetables if that's the first thing you give them. And even if they start making faces and stuff, don't give up. Just keep trying unless they literally gag. Unless they're gagging, then I don't know. Just try it a couple of days over a couple of periods. Like, I didn't think that he liked butternut squash, but I kept trying and eventually he loves it now. He loves bananas too, so... We're working on it. <laughs> All right, I have two topics left. And if you're still watching, drop a comment below and tell me what's your favorite thing about being a mom. So my second to last topic is bath time. I don't know if you guys know or not, but you can use your breast milk for bath time. Babies in the really early stages get cradle cap and solar hat cradle cap. And he also pulls his hair a lot. But um, Solar had a cradle cap in his hair like really, really bad. And to get it out, they say you can use oils and stuff. But if you want to be natural, you can use your breast milk. It doesn't have to be newly fresh pumped breast milk. It actually is preferred to use the old breast milk because like the breast milk that's been sitting out after um, baby didn't finish his bottle or something, you can use that because you're not supposed to give it to baby. So you can use that and um, for bath time and put it in his hair and just wash it out, rinse it out. Make sure you um, do not scratch at it. Don't scratch on his scalp with the comb. No, don't do that. That's going to make it worse. Solar Man's getting very tired, so I'm going to hurry up and do my last topic. My last topic is body image. So one thing that they don't tell you about breastfeeding is your boobs are going to sag, TMI, but they're going to. I know it sucks, mama. I know you probably don't like your new mom bod, but you kind of got to embrace it. Embrace them boobies. I never wear a bra. I don't wear a bra anywhere. <laughs> Because you can buy the nursing bras. I do have nursing bras. Okay, let me fix that. I have nursing bras and you can unclip and clip back on. And it should be normalized a lot more to breastfeed in public places. I personally do go outside to the car whenever I am breastfeeding and I'm in the public. I feel more comfortable that way. But it should be normalized that you can just whip it out in the grocery store i personally if you're covering up or even if you're not covering up your baby has to eat i believe that's all i have for you guys today if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up so like, say give it a big thumbs up give it a big thumbs up and make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i am going to be doing more videos like this i really like the sit down talk videos and i like giving out my um personal experience disclaimer everything on this video is just from experience so don't like take it and run with it and say that oh i watched this youtuber and she said this so i have to do this no don't do that this is just a personal experience and i just want you guys to embrace your little ones and have the time of your life he's so tired <laughs> so i love you guys make sure you subscribe and i'll see you guys in our next video say bye